With the storms of the previous few episodes behind us and the weather looking beautiful, we spent a few days just having pure fun. Diving, sailing, playing music, meeting friends, and exploring more of Sardinia. Join us for a lovely few days in the Mediterranean autumn. No more. I'm Aladino. I'm both Swiss and Italian and a boat builder by profession. And I'm Maya, a Canadian artist and sailor. This is our home, Magic Carpet. She's a Vinda 32, though she's only 28 feet long. And four years ago, she fell 20 feet off a crane onto concrete. Insurance wrote her off, but Aladino bought her, fixed her, and now she's our home. Our mission? To sail around the world as slowly as possible. After the two night crossing from Sicily, we arrived to Sardinia in the early morning and went straight to sleep. We woke up finally around noon and had a look at where we had anchored. Good morning! So it's a very windy day. Uh, well, it's actually, is it even morning still? It's probably about noon. No, now it's like noon, yeah. yeah we, we, we slept for a while. We slept for a while. We got in at 7 or something and then yeah, both just yeah. went to sleep immediately. It was a so phenomenal tired. crossing. It was yeah. uh, it was such a joy. It really um, was. But coming closer to Sardinia, what was it like four in the morning? Yeah. Winds picked up quite a bit. Quite a lot. Yeah, and we put two reefs in the main and furled the Genoa yeah, in quite a lot. To a yeah, storm jib more or less, mm -hmm. and uh, we're still scooting along at five knots. Um, so yeah, from A to B was absolutely wonderful. We were able to sail 95% of the way. It was fantastic. And so now we are anchored on the south coast of Sardinia, nearby the city of Cagliari, and we're anchored right next to our patrons! And uh, we're gonna go over there and have some coffee. They are on a lagoon... 3? 380, 380, I believe. 380, I think. I could be wrong. Um, and we actually met them in Zurich because they're Swiss. We met them in Zurich last winter when we were working there, and uh, they were just in the process of buying and setting up and getting to know their boat, so it's pretty cool to see yeah. them out cruising now. Totally. We inflated our dinghy to go say hi, and then they both came over later in the evening for a sundowner and a little jam session. <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you to Fu and Ria. It was really nice. You guys, yeah. yeah, no, thank you. You guys should also check them out on Sailing Koru. Follow their journey. They are headed to Sicily and uh, we're back in Sardinia. We finished the evening with a little bit of video editing and a delicious hot meal. And then it was time for bed. Hey, Dini. What's our plan for right now? Diving. I hope to see shipwrecks. I'm not sure. Really? There's shipwrecks yeah, there? Yeah, there is shipwrecks, but it might oh. be for divers. They might be too deep. Okay. Um, so I want to check that out. And also there is a statue in the water. And I want to see if we can see that. Yeah. The red dot is us anchored in the bay. And I actually want to go all the way um, on this tip, there should be shipwrecks, and instead at the very end, there is the statue, which is actually oh, wow, mangled. Right. So that is quite a distance in the day, yes. The island where the sunken statue supposedly is, is called Isola dai Cavoli, which means the Isle of the Cabbages. big tenders passing by and they were uh, giving us uh, an odd look like where the hell are we going but well, we can go where they go even if we got a small dinghy ah. the dinghy ride took 45 minutes but it wasn't a bad commute when we arrived we looked for where to leave the dinghy ah oh, shall we tie there the one? yeah let's see if it's possible Getato. do not attach ropes and shall we go just on the beach? We could do. Well, there's, so there's this beach, and then also around the corner, it looks like there could be one. Or do we also want to go see the yellow one if it says anything? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, I got it. We found a different mooring ball and tied up and put on our wetsuits. They look so pretty. Oh, thanks. Are you being serious? <laughs> 
Yes. Bye bye. Oh, why did you put the mask on? You just kicked it off again. The statue we were looking for was made by a Sardinian sculptor named Pinuccio Schiola and is called the Madonna del Naufrago, or the Madonna of the Shipwreck. We slowly surveyed the bottom, trying to spot the over three meter tall statue. Damselfish moved in their underwater constellations. The rocks cast shadows and shapes, constantly playing tricks with our eyes, but whenever we thought we might have found the Madonna, it was only a flickering shadow. We searched for nearly an hour but couldn't find the statue. We were getting tired and impatient, but just as so often happens, that's exactly when we found what we were looking for. Watching all the lovers fall into the night. <laughs> On the second Sunday of July, a festival is held here to honor shipwrecked sailors. A procession heads down to the island of Cabbage, divers lay flower crowns on the head of the statue, and traditional Sardinian dancers in traditional costumes round out the event on land. The statue was too deep for me to dive to, but Aladino's free diving is getting pretty good, and he was able to swim around the statue to get this gorgeous footage. We returned to the dinghy and headed over to Capo Carbonara to try and find the shipwreck that's supposedly there. I stayed in the dinghy while Aladino went out to suss out the situation. I don't know if I'm starting to hallucinate, but this part right down here doesn't look like a rock. I don't know, uh, but maybe I've seen ghosts. Everything is overgrown and looks almost like a rock, but it has a bit of a different shape. I don't know if that's part of a shipwreck. I think I found it. Well, it's all overgrown and it all looks like a rock, but that's the closest thing that looks like not a rock. But it might be just a part, like I cannot even tell what piece it is. Um, but I thought when I went closer, I think I can see that it's uh, metal. After all that, we were pretty tired and pretty sunbaked, so we headed home for the day. Once again, I did some editing, and Aladino cooked an absolutely beautiful meal. Don't I have a brilliant man? He fixes the boat during the day and then he makes me dinner at night while I sit here and edit. So good. Good morning! So I'm doing a bit of cleaning this morning because we have friends arriving from Zurich later this afternoon. And I cleaned all the floors. There was so much dust and dirt built up like in the corners here. Now it's all sparkling clean and it's so satisfying. And I put this seat cover on. I absolutely love this seat cover. It's actually just a sheet. Um, and it's from my friend's dad has this store in Vancouver. They import all these beautiful handmade textiles and I think they're so gorgeous. This is also from the same store. The little tablecloth thing. And um, our duvet cover is also from there. I love it. 
we hung our clean laundry outside to dry, then went to shore. I left my computer in the marina office to export a finished video, and then we went to pick up our friends in town. Everything went fine, the bus arrived on time. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> so Layla is back, and K1. Yeah, never been on magic carpets. Just oh, never, app. never. No. When it, but just when it was in the yard. Yeah, just yeah. in the boat yard. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exciting. Now it's livable, and for yeah, for years it was just that project scrap of fiberglass. Um, so, cool. Yeah, we are excited to see it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, let's go sit down, throw the bags on board. Uh, maybe we get some fruits and veggies on the way, and then uh, yeah, enjoy a Sardinian beer. How does that sound? <laughs> I don't think it has ever worked with this many things in it. But the thing is still afloat. We are quite slow, but uh, we'll make it. We are the yeah. <laughs> How to inspire confidence in your guests. The next few days were filled with swimming and catching up with friends. We stayed in the same anchorage, preferring to take it easy and slow. We even managed to catch this camouflaged cuttlefish on film. Cuttlefish use their camouflage in some interesting ways. For example, a small male cuttlefish can disguise himself as a female, thereby getting past a female cuttlefish's larger mate and being able to mate with a female. Even better is the cuttlefish can display a female pattern on one side to trick suspicious males into thinking it's just two ladies hanging out. And then he'll display a male pattern on his other side to signal to the female that he is indeed a man. In this case, the cuttlefish just wanted to hide from our GoPro. We waited out some rough weather in the harbor, and then we headed out with sails up. With a reefed mane and headsail, we set a course to Nora, an ancient Roman settlement that is now partially underwater. We were able to sail most of the way, that was nice, uh, but then all of a sudden we had a wind shift and there was absolutely no wind uh, and like the boat like stalled, it was a funny moment. And then it came from another direction, but it was uh, straight from our nose. So we took the road to Genoa in and now uh, motoring but we're almost arriving. This town used to be an important trading stop and had a thriving community with Roman baths, an amphitheater, and richly decorated buildings. Part of Nora is now underwater, though after 2,000 years, the man-made shapes are barely distinguishable. Our lovely guests, K1 and Leila, were getting ready to head back to Zurich the next day. And just on our last evening together, I discovered that Leila plays the flute. We put together a little duet, which I think is the perfect end to this episode. This is the Wedding Gift Waltz. What?
Thank you all so much for watching. Extra special thank you to our patrons, without whom these episodes really wouldn't exist. If you're interested in supporting these productions and getting behind-the-scenes access, special bonuses, and personalized messages from Aladino and I, then please head on over to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description. And an extra, extra special thank you to these folks who go above and beyond in making sure these episodes keep happening. Thank you to all of you, and we'll see you next week.